Hello there crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and I am back today to make my last two alternatives for the June 2019 paper pumpkin kit. In today's video, I'm going to be using what you might usually throw away or recycle for my cards. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to make. Thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said in my intro, for my last two alternatives for this month, I'm going to be using some things that normally you might throw away or recycle. I did this last month with the May 2019 kit and it was one of my most popular videos. I will link that one below if you want to go check it out. Since this will be my last Paper Pumpkin Alternative video for the June kit, I will be coming back in just a few short days to let you know how you can enter to win one of four Paper Pumpkin kits I'm going to be giving away to celebrate my 5,000th subscriber. I do have a very basic introduction video that tells you what you need to look or listen for in each of the alternative videos this month, so I will link that below. But again, I'll be back with all of the final details in just a few days. Once I get started with the process of my cards, I will go to a voiceover. If I do not answer any questions in that voiceover, as always, make sure to leave your questions in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's go ahead and get started. For card number one, the scrap I used was the piece of vellum that you punched the coral out of. For my sentiment, I used thank you, it means so much. For the embellishments, I got out one of the white sentiment tags and I grabbed two of the leaves. And if you'll notice, they are facing different directions. I also got a sand dollar, a piece of twine, and then I will be using the wood grain envelope that has the green border around it. I did go ahead and leave the envelope hole. I didn't try to tear it apart for that front part because last time I ended up tearing off some of the pattern on the envelope. I will be using this wood grain embossing folder and then I got out for my card a piece of crumb cake that was four by five and a quarter and then I also have a square of crumb cake I think that was two and a quarter by two and a quarter and then just a standard white card base. To go along with the wood grain on the envelope that I'm going to be using I decided to use this wood grain embossing folder by the paper studio. Once that was embossed, I added the envelope to the top center of that piece. I did put on some extra adhesive since I left the envelope hole and it was a little heavier. I adhered this layered piece just flat down to the card front. So I started to make my focal point and then I realized I wanted to cover up where the flap of the envelope meets the body. So I carefully peeled that back up and used that twine and wrapped it around where the fold was in the envelope. I just thought this added a little more texture and then you can't obviously tell it's an envelope on there. Once I had that all set, I continued to make my focal point. I put some adhesive dots from the kit on the back of my green leaves, and then I just placed those so they were facing kind of opposite directions. You'll see one kind of goes up and the one goes down. Then I put quite a few dots on the sand dollar so it would stick well, and I placed that right in the middle of my focal point. Next, I used my foam tape squares to place my focal point onto the card. I like the extra lift this gave, and that is when I decided I needed to do something with my sentiment. Originally, I was going to put it on that white label, but I didn't know how that was going to fit. So I decided to just stamp it right to the front of the envelope, and that's what I'm doing here. And here is a look at card number one, all finished.
For card number two, I chose the You Are Amazing stamp. For my embellishments, I got out one of the decorative vellum circles, the wood grain sentiment label, a sand dollar, a sea star, and some twine. For my trash for this card, I am using what was left over from the leaf punch out and from the palm tree punch out. For my non-kit items, I have a piece of stick it adhesive that is three and a half by four and three quarters. I have a piece of crumb cake that is four by five and a quarter, and then I have a white card base. What I'm gonna do with this palm tree piece is because the palm trees have like a printed border around what you punch out, these make very fun embellishments and focal points. So I just carefully cut out around that border so I had one palm tree. I think this card might have been doomed from the start. Maybe I should be in bed instead of up all night crafting. I thought I was recording the process to glitter my leaf die cut, but I did not. So I'm going to try to explain what I did. And if you have any questions on this, make sure to leave those below. So earlier I showed you that small piece of stick it adhesive. What I did with that is I had the full leaf punch out. So what I did is I put the stick it adhesive sheet on the back of the green piece so the adhesive would show through these leaves and then I trimmed off the excess so I just had what was on the square then I took my golden barrel Martha Stewart glitter I dumped it all over it pushed it down wiped it off and then I ended up with this glittered leaf kind of pattern paper almost now Sorry that wasn't on camera and now my desktop probably looks like I threw a party because there's glitter all over the place. But let's go ahead and continue from this point on. Once my glittered piece was all ready, I adhered that to the crumb cake mat. Then because I knew my focal point would need some time for the glue to dry, I went ahead and started putting that together. I kind of played with the arrangement until I got something I liked. Because those two pieces were so detailed, I got out a new to me product. It is a glue sponge. I recently saw someone use this because they got it in like a monthly card kit. So I thought I would order some to see if I wanted to put it in my Amazon storefront. So I'm gonna sit that to the side to dry and we'll find out together if this would be a product I would suggest. For my sentiment, I use the same brown ink to stamp You Are Amazing on the wood grain tag. And now it is time to see if that glue sponge worked. I will tell you, I kind of expected some of the edges of these to pop up and really only a small part did. I would definitely recommend this product, so I will link it below. If you would consider using my link, I would greatly appreciate it. At no extra cost to you, I might get a small commission on the sale. While I finished putting the card together and building the focal point, I thought I would go ahead and stop by with the secret word for this video. Now, if you don't know what this is about, you'll want to check out that giveaway announcement that I have linked in the description box below. Don't forget, once you hear the secret word, please do not leave a comment where you try to point out in any way what the secret word is. Either just by saying it, hey, flat out the secret word is, or by capitalizing it or putting it in quotations. Unfortunately, if you do do that, I will delete the comment and you'll be disqualified from the giveaway. So let's keep this fun and light, and I want everybody who can enter to be able to. So today's secret word is trash. This will be the last secret word for the giveaway. I'll be back in just a couple days to tell you how you're gonna submit those entries to me and give you all of the final details on the giveaway. Good luck to all of those who enter. And here is a look at card number two. 
I just love the sparkle that that glitter gives to the background. I hope you enjoyed getting to see how I made my two cards today. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope you'll be inspired to click on the subscribe button and maybe even tap on that bell. If you're already a regular viewer and subscriber, thanks again for stopping back by. You know I appreciate it each and every time you do. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.